Hello everyone, can you hear me okay? Yeah! Oh fantastic, that's a lovely response. So my name is Sarah, I'm autistic, I am 36 and I've been diagnosed autistic for nine years. Which means I've been aware that I am autistic for nine years. However, since a very little girl, I was very different. And a lot of my mannerisms and the ways that I would connect with people were often seen as strange. But music has been a tapestry that I owe so much for in my life. Music has granted me the capacity to stim, stimulate. Stim is a short word for repetitive, fixated behaviour. And music I would listen to again and again the same song, the same section of the same song, repeatedly, over and over. But I didn't know I was autistic. But organically and instinctively, I was regulating my nervous system. I was soothing myself through my senses, through the gift of music. And music is a gift. It is universal in every culture of humanity, and it is ancient as well, which means we've been gifted music from our ancestors. Now, when I learned as an adult that what I was doing as a little girl when spinning, rocking, humming, getting lost in my world of imagination to a song, what I realised I was doing was regulation. Now, before I go on, can I get everyone in the audience to pick their favourite song? Pick a song that means something to you. Visualise it in your head. Make it have meaning. Think, how does it make you feel? Does it transport you to a different place? Can you remember a different time for a song? What's happening when we listen to music and when we interact with music, humans are interacting with sound waves, with reverberation, with frequency, with pitch, with harmony. And we receive it through our senses on a neurobiological level. It interacts with us physiologically. And that little girl who did not know she was autistic soothed herself instinctively and organically through the gift of music. Now, when we think about the origins of music, where does that come from? And why is spinning so important? So music is always developing. Today it's guitars and drums and keyboards and synthesizers. But music began with our hunter-gatherer ancestors deviating from the norm, deviating from hunting and gathering, to just inquire what happens when I do this. behaviour that is interested in cause and effect, that behaviour that is interested in fixated movement, that behaviour, I believe, was the building blocks towards the tapestry that we know as music. And without neurodiversity, without autistic behaviour, without curiosity and inquisitiveness to explore the things outside of ourselves, and just because they feel good, we get an extension of humanity and music is an extension of the self. So I think this event is wonderful because it focuses on autistic extension of the self. And it focuses on autistic perspective and um, expression. Um, so thank you so much for listening to me. I really, really hope that when you listen to the music tonight, you realise that it's coming from the performers' hearts and minds. 
and I hope that when you picture your favourite song, remember that through music we communicate more than words. We can communicate emotion, memory and feeling and it transcends time and that is something that we all know in this room instinctively. It's why many people in this room would have already picked up a wedding song or even the very last song. Because we know that through music, we can reach those and send a memory to say, I was here and I mattered. Thank you. Enjoy your night.